Hello, I'm Kevin from Shogunano. In this video, I'm going to take you through setting up the Wi-Fi connections on the PEL51 Power and Energy Logger. Now I'm going to show you how to configure the PEL51 to act as either a wireless access point, which you can connect to, or to be able to connect to a router. So the way we do that is we press this bottom left hand button, but we press it twice. When we press it twice for wireless access points, we can press enter and we get the sign for wireless access point. If we press it again, we get the sign for wireless connection and that's connecting to a Wi-Fi connection. Obviously we need to configure that within the software, um, but this is how we actually enable that function so that we can do that. So if I press again, it turns it off, access point and router mode. So to configure the device, generally to start with, we would have it as Wi-Fi as an access point. And then once we've configured it for Wi-Fi connection, we then turn it to router mode and it will connect automatically then and we'll be able to access it via the IP address. So to connect to the PEL via Wi-Fi, I simply need to log on to the PEL's Wi-Fi access point. So I need to go to my Wi-Fi settings, open up my Wi-Fi connection in the same way as we would if we were making any Wi-Fi connection, and scroll until we see the PEL51, and the SSID there has also got the PEL serial number, so we know which one we're connecting to. So I click on that, and click Connect, and we should now connect through to the PEL's Wi-Fi interface. This will establish a connection between the laptop and the PEL, and then I can use the free PEL transfer software to set up and download the data. So now we've made the Wi-Fi connection. There is a connection, data connection now between the laptop and the PEL51. So now I open the PEL transfer software. So what I need to do now is go to instrument, and I need to add an instrument. Obviously I choose PEL51, and next. It's asked me how it's connected, so in this case it's a Wi-Fi access point. So next again, and it's now establishing the connection. So we can see now I've connected to the PEL, and we can tell that because there's a little green tick next to the, the PEL icon, and we can see the PEL and the serial number on there. We can also see some data about the PEL, like the time it's set to, battery temperature, and all sorts of information on there for the configuration. Thanks for watching our video. If you've enjoyed the content, please click like and subscribe to our channel. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps other people to find us. If you'd like more information or product demonstration, please reach out to us in the comments and we'd be more than happy to help. See you on another video again soon.